What is going on everybody and yes it is finally time for us to open up a draft booster box of Double Masters 2022. Welcome back everybody to the collection update series. No, we are not doing a binder update. I know we didn't do one last week either, but it's doubles masters week, guys. We gotta open up a box. I'm very excited to say Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles is the local game store that has helped us out with a lot of these box openings in the past, and they are continuing to do so this time around. Grand Slam, thank you so much, my friend, Josh, Aaron. I really appreciate you guys. If anybody would like to, please feel free. Look at the link down below. Uh, that is their Facebook group. You can go follow them. They do all things Pokemon, Magic, sports cards, all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in any of it, please go follow them. They also are talking about opening up the opportunity for box breaks, uh, working with us on some opportunities there. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know down below. If you don't know what a box break is, essentially we can set some parameters like blue, red, green, etc. You buy that blue slot and then we open up a box and you get sent all of the blue cards. Now, we'll determine all the details of that, of course, if you guys are interested, but that's something we are looking at doing and we wanna open up that opportunity for you guys. But without further ado, let's jump into the Double Masters 2022 box opening. All right, guys, and here we are with this amazing box. There are some incredible pulls in this, so we're really hoping to get some extra value with this one. And again, a huge thank you to Grand Slam for helping us out with this. Now, this is a brand new setup for us here with the box openings. This isn't something we have done before, so we're going to be learning together. There may be a few kinks, there may be a few foibles, but we're going to do the best we can to make it happen. I do love the amazing little uh, box topper art that you get with these. These are really, really cool. So let's do it, guys. Let's open up, uh, open up some uh, double masters. I'm really excited for this. I know some of the cards in here are just incredibly high valued. Uh, but more importantly, I think there's just some really nice reprints in this set. So let's get things kind of situated here. There we go. Uh, and let's start taking a look. I believe what we will see are the two foils first, and we've got our first foil rare, Tauran Sky Summoner. Uh, there's our other foil, which is Dark Dweller Oracle, not super exciting. And then here are the actual rares. So just to note, you do get two foils and two rares in every pack. Obviously any of those can be mythic. Uh, we do have our first Deathbringer Liege and Tariel. Not too bad. Uh, Tariel was actually the card of the day not too long ago. Um, I'm going to just kind of flip through these very quickly. They do like to hide some borderless cards like this, the Burning Tree Emissary in that common uncommon slot. I'm going to just kind of put those to the side as well because I do really like the, uh, the borderless cards. I think they're just absolutely stunning. All right, guys, pack number two. Um, I'm hoping to get, I'm trying to think what some of the cards are in this that I really, really want. There's quite a few. Um, Obviously, any of the, the Eldrazi's would be really sick. Uh, they are beautiful, beautiful cards for sure. Supernatural Stamina and 10th District Legionnaire are our two foils. There's not a bad hit. Smothering Tithe right off the bat. I do like that. And, ooh, Dockside Extortionist. Obviously, the reprint of the card. I actually like this art better. This was one of the uh, new versus old that we did on Instagram just the other day. Absolutely love Dockside Extortionist. Definitely a commander throw. Uh, for sure. And it doesn't look like, yep, no uh, borderless cards in that pack, which is totally fine. Let's move on to pack three. We are going to take our time with this a little bit because my goodness, are these cards just absolutely stunning. Again, there's so much to love about these new master sets uh, and some of which is just absolutely insane. Oh, foil, borderless, Teferi's Protection, an absolutely stunning, stunning card. Really love that. And then a Strands of Undeath is our other foil. We have a Privileged Position as our first rare, and then a Backdraft Hellkite uh, as our second. Nothing too crazy in that pack aside, oh, Wall of Omens, aside from, of course, the Teferi's Protection, that card is bonkers good. Uh, nice, very, very nice. All right, guys, first three packs down. We got a long way to go in this one for sure, but uh, I already, and I just love these master sets. Generally speaking, it's best to hold on to these kinds of sets, by the way. If you're if you're an investor or something like that, obviously that's kind of the way to go. These generally hold value very, very well as we open up an Arbiter and an Intet. Very cool. 
Uh, these master sets are always pretty reasonable. Muldrifter, one of the best of the uh, uncommon full arts or borderless cards, excuse me. Um, generally, they hold value quite well because they have so many good reprints in them. It's hard to not hold value in that case, you know what I mean? And so uh, if you are looking to, to make a little more money off of this, maybe that's the way to go. I generally buy cards to open them, of course, uh, here on the channel. So obviously that's what we're going to do. But we have a beautiful hardened skills here and another Tauron. Uh, not my favorite, but a nice little summer bloom there. Let's see if we got any uh, borderless cards out of this one. It looks like no, but that's okay. Let's move on to pack, I believe, number six. Believe. Uh, I'm really liking this setup, by the way, guys. I know it's a little bit different, uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, and uh, hopefully it's not too difficult. Ooh, look at that. Burning Tree Emissary, borderless and foil. Absolutely stunning card. And a Might of Old Croza in foil. Not a bad card either. Let's see, we have got an Abbot of Carol Keep as our first rare and a Hostage Taker. Not super crazy, uh, definitely not the best pack in the world, but that's okay. We're not gonna get a hit every single time, of course. But generally speaking, you will get a couple hits per box here. Um, I didn't watch the entire booster box game that uh, the professor put on this time around, but I have to imagine he, uh, he did pretty well this time. Jeskai Elder is our first foil. Hissing Iguana is our next. Ooh, Monastery Mentor, one of my all-time favorite cards. I really love this one. It reminds me of a boosted up young Pyromancer. Just absolutely stunning. And our second Mythic. And we have a Bedlam Reveler. Not a bad little card either. Uh, certainly not as crazy for sure. But no more Borderless. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what we get in the next one. Um, again, guys, I do want to really impress upon you the importance of commenting and liking and hanging out with us here on the videos. If you are interested in box breaks, anything like that, please let me know. I would love to share that with the Grand Slam crew. Maybe we can get something going pretty soon, uh, and that would really be an awesome one. Ooh, Sidrus the Traitor King, Borderless, an absolutely stunning card. Look at that artwork. There's so much going on there. And then we have a nice Green Sun Zenith. Not a bad hit either. Both very good cards. Do we have, ooh, a Terminate Borderless. Love that. Anything else? Nope, that's it. That's perfectly fine. Uh, man, not a bad pack. So far so good. Still would love to get, ooh, I know one card I would love. Ren and Six. I absolutely love Ren and Six. I've only ever gotten one. Would absolutely love to get an extra Ren and Six. Just a stunning card. Oh, Aether Vial, one of my favorite rares from the set. Absolutely phenomenal card. Definitely happy to see that one. And then a Rurik Thar as well. Uh, not one of the best, uh, in my opinion, but Aether Vial, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Ooh, let's make sure we're not mixing piles here. Gotta, gotta organize as we go, guys. Of course we gotta organize as we go. All right, let's see what we can get. Go ahead and get those two off the top. We have got a Bounty of Lexa. We have got a Seeker Squire and our first rare Dauntless Escort and Revelark. I actually really like Revelark. I use it in cube quite often. Uh, it's just a really nice card for that. So unfortunately, ooh, nice little experiment one. There are some uh, perfectly reasonable commons and uncommons in the set. I know Lightning Bolt, Path to Exile, there's plenty of good stuff here. Uh, so if you happen to be opening up your box, make sure you take a, a good peek through the common and uncommon slot. I think you'll find something River Hoopy. Oh, I love that. Battlefield prom uh, Promotion, Fiery Justice, and Zur. I do really love Zur. This is one of my favorite pieces of artwork in the game. Absolutely stunning card. Very, very happy to see that. Let's see what else. Any, any Borderless? Ooh, yes, right there. Coiling Oracle. Very, very awesome. I absolutely love that. All right. We are getting through the box, guys. Ooh, I love this set. Uh, I really hope I have the opportunity to open up more of this set. Uh, I don't buy as much as I used to. Oh, Nico Bolas, God Pharaoh, not a great mythic, but certainly a decent one. And of course, I mean, it's Nico Bolas. Can't be too upset by that. Let's see. And a Hydroid Krasis. Not a bad card either. Definitely happy to see that. Uh, we have got a Blood Artist border Borderless. Excuse me. Very, very good. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't buy as much paper magic as I used to, uh, or when I, I, I shouldn't say that, I guess when I say that I mean like 
boxes, if that makes sense. A lot of times what I buy are singles for like the binder update or something along those lines. Uh, and so I don't get to do this as often anymore. Thousand Year Storm is our first rare from the pack. And then Skullbriar, the Walking Grave. I actually really like that card. Um, but yeah, so this is actually a really nice experience. We haven't done this in a while. Uh, we've done some pack openings. We've done, obviously, some binder updates, some singles, some new stuff that we picked up. But we haven't done this in a while. Uh, and I missed this. So maybe we can start doing this again. Uh, the Aristocrat. Living Lightning. Ooh, Crucible of Worlds as our fourth, fifth mythic of the box. Absolutely perfect. I really love Crucible. And then Merkfield Liege. They did reprint the entire Liege uh, cycle, uh, which is pretty cool. Nice little spell pierce there as well. Um, I do like the Lieges. They're really good for draft. Uh, they're really fun in draft. If you happen to be in those two colors, they are a, a great payoff for sure. Um, I haven't drafted this set yet. Maybe I should. Maybe that would be fun. Cryptic Spires. Rift Bolt. Foil. Not a bad foil, actually. Uh, Webweaver Changeling. A Supreme Verdict. Very cool. And a Lava Lanch. Let's see. Did we get any Borderless? Nothing in that one. Alright, guys. We are getting down to it. We've got, I believe, nine packs left. Uh, we've already gotten five mythics, which honestly is pretty good. I don't know, I don't know what the average pull rate in these boxes is, uh, only because you double up. So obviously normally it's, you know, three to four ish, I believe is the normal rate. Uh, we're already above that, but of course we do have double the chances, so to speak. So that might be part of it. Uh, but I don't know what the average is specifically for these boxes. So, uh, let me know if you've opened up a box, how does this one measure up? Let me know. Got a little elemental token, cryptic spires. Ooh, foil blood braid. Very much love that. That's a great one. And a foil Kasali pride mage borderless. Very, very cool. I actually really like that they did that with the pride mage. Pride mage. I think that's a really sick card. Assassin's trophy. Ooh, and Phyrexian altar. Both very, very good cards. Nice little Inquisition there. We got a Demir Aqueduct. I love that they did all the bounce lands in uh, Borderless. And I believe most of them are actually holding some reasonable value, especially if you get foil Borderless. Uh, that certainly is worthwhile. All right, guys. So let's get these out of there. We have got a beautiful Unearth. Deranged Assistant. Oh, and our sixth Mythic is a beautiful, beautiful Bitter Blossom. Absolutely love this card. Obviously, this is a tried and true classic for modern players or, well, plenty of other formats, but I really love this card. It's just absolutely stunning. And Jeskai Ascendancy, a uh, beautiful little combo card back in the day in modern. Uh, did we get any borderless? Nope. Perfectly fine. All right, guys, six packs to go. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you made it to this point, let me know if you think we're going to get another mythic. Uh, spider spawning, a martial glory, a bring to light, and a restoration angel. This was actually another one that we did have on the uh, artist versus the new versus original. Um, I don't really love the new restoration angel. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't think it's very good. Uh, but I mean, the card is good. I just don't love the art. Uh, no offense, of course, to the artist. I know they worked hard on it. Uh, we got a little tower gargoyle, arachnus web, and. Forbidden Orchard. Uh, this is my least favorite art for Forbidden Orchard. I think there's only two. This is my uh, less favorite art <laughs> um, and the Mind Rack Liege. But Forbidden Orchard is a really cool little combo with Oath of Druids. Nice little Eternal Witness there. Uh, and no more Borderless. Monastery Swift Spear being printed at common. How do we feel about that? That's interesting. Um, ooh, there we go. All right, let's see. Ooh, those are bent at the corner. That might be for me. Mana leak in foil. Disfigure in foil. A damnation. Absolutely awesome pull. I do really love damnation. Just a really sick card. And a child of Alara. Very awesome. Not a bad pack at all. Scion of darkness. Anything else? No, nothing too crazy. All right, guys. Down to the last three packs. Let's see if we can get another mythic. I uh, I don't have high hopes, but <laughs> we've actually been doing pretty well. There's the Ren and Six token. Oh, just teasing, just teasing me a little bit. Uh, Live wire lash, and then a Bonkin. Oh, 
Vidalkin Ori in Borderless. Now, again, I don't know the prices for a lot of these cards. I'm probably not going to take the opportunity this time around because I want to get this video out uh, by Saturday. But I assume this is a relatively decent pull in terms of value. Uh, it's an absolutely stunning card. And then we have a Wilt Leaf Liege. Not bad. There's a little Path to Exile. Very cool. Man, what a box. What a set. I love, love, love these little master sets. They're just so fun. All right. Let's see. We have got a little Sapperling token. We've got the Labyrinth Champion. We've got Forbidden Alchemy. Oh, very cool. We've got the uh, little Reaver here. This was originally from, I believe, the Ravnica block. Very cool little card. And Yeheni. Very interesting. Uh, didn't know they... Uh, a lot of these reprints, guys, I didn't know were in the set. Uh, so this is actually the first time seeing them. All right, guys, last pack right here. Let's see. This is the big one. Can we get something else? We've already had a pretty good box, I assume. Uh, I really don't know for sure. Cryptic Spires. Ooh, okay, foil rare. Uh, Thistledown Liege, not bad. Spion of Darkness, very cool. And... We did it. We pulled another mythic. Azuri Claw of Progress. I believe that's mythic number seven. And then a Magister Sphinx. Not a great rare, but definitely ending on a high note. A nice little Orzhov Basilica as well for our borderless pile. Oh, and Seeker of the Way. Very cool. Man, what a box. All right, let's wrap this one up. All right, guys, so ending the box with seven mythic rares, not too bad. We've gotten some awesome pulls out of this, but I would love to open up some more of this. I will just go ahead and say again, a huge thank you to Grand Slam. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of openings you guys want to see. Maybe we can make those box breaks happen. I would absolutely love to give you guys that opportunity and hopefully have some fun with you guys. Maybe we can do it live. We can do some really fun stuff. So all that being said, thank you again to Grand Slam. Thank you for you guys to... Wow. Thank you to you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys tomorrow with some more gameplay. Thank you guys so much.